The government of Ghana is shortly going to commence the construction of 50 steel bridges following the signing of a credit facility agreement um, with the Czech Republic. And these bridges will be constructed in selected communities across the 16 regions as part of the infrastructure works of the Akufuado administration. The Minister for Roads and Highways signed on behalf of the government of Ghana and uh, the ambassador of the Czech Republic signed on behalf of the Czech government. And it is for the design, supply, and installation of the small and medium steel bridges across the 16 regions of this country. There are many instances where uh, yourselves, our colleagues, show footage of you know, children sometimes having to cross water bodies before they go to school, etc. And the administration is committed to, uh, now that we have succeeded in stabilizing the macro, invest heavily in infrastructure. One of the things we are doing is these 50 steel bridges across the country. And the agreement has just been signed with the Czech government for that. Now, the projects, as I mentioned, involve the design, supply, and installation of steel components for the construction of the new bridges and replaces some existing bridges on rivers and pedestrian bridges, including the execution of all substructure works and approach roadworks. Now, according to the agreement, the Department of Feeder Roads will have 20 of those bridges for some selected feeder roads. The Ghana Highway Authority itself will have 20 of those bridges for major highways. And then the Department of Urban Roads will have 10 of those bridges um, for some urban road connections. The project is estimated to be completed within a period of 24 months from the commencement date. And the core objective is to deepen the opening up of this country so that uh, in terms of access to schools, hospitals, and economic activity, um, we do a lot better than we are doing now. It's also to remove the traffic bottlenecks at river crossings and improve the movement of people and goods within these areas. It's expected that by the end of the project, all year round access to some of these facilities, as I've mentioned, will be provided to eliminate interruptions. And this should increase um, economic activity and incomes of people living within these areas. Um, it is a 47.5 million euro credit agreement or credit facility between the government of Ghana and the Czech Republic.